boys and girls, sports fans, Den here, JDOD, and I have Mr. Do- sorry, Dribble, Doctor. Doctor, Michel, there you Michel go. <laughs> Board member SAP, good morning to you, Michelle, how are you doing? I'm very good, Dennis, nice to see you. And you, right, so today you started talking about developers in a serious way. Give me the three top things that those guys have got to think about. I think, uh, you know, I have been a developer um, for, wow, for a majority of my life now. Uh, I first programmed when I was 16 years old. And developers, uh, software is basically changing the world. Uh, Software is transforming the world. Uh, I wrote about this last year, uh, that um, atoms are rapidly running into bits. Um, Anderson wrote this article called Software is Eating the World and so on. Um, It is very clear that the world, physical artifacts of the world are increasingly being reshaped by software. So us software developers carry a very uh, unique burden uh, of course, we have an unbelievable opportunity. So given that, my three basic things for developers are, first of all, we must do whatever we can in service of the end users. Mm-hmm. Um, empowerment of end users. You know, the uh, technology uh, for a long, long time has served to enable people to do more, mm-hmm. uh, to amplify their reach. Uh, Steve Jobs used to call a computer a bicycle for the mind. Actually, that phrase came from Alan Kay, mm. um, who used to who be was a, one of your mentors. Wasn't he it? was one of my mentors. He was a, a distinguished uh, fellow at Apple and worked with Steve Jobs there. Um, and, of course, he built the Dynabook, which was an inspiration to sure. many of the personal computers and so on. Um, so like a bicycle for the mind. And I think for software developers, so one is the design, the understanding the end users and building things that empower them, including giving the end users the ability to program our systems. We are... in. In software, we are the only major industry where we don't give the end users the ability to change their software environment. Mm. Uh, In other industries, you are able to change things if you know what you are doing. Mm. Um, The second one is that, especially in enterprise software, the developers that we have, that we are, carry an additional burden of legacy. Um, That is the price that we pay. We have landscapes, and disrupting those landscapes is not an option. You have to renew and connect those landscapes to the new things non-disruptively. Uh, we must not increase the complexity of the landscapes as we build new capabilities into the landscapes. That is the second, I think, most important thing that developers have to keep in mind. And the third one is the platform. <coughs> the software development platform is one of these things that is becoming highly compartmentalized, highly uh, isolated. And we need platforms that connect us, platforms that may, that are open, platforms that... Um, connect our systems that enable us to, to do more uh, real-time platforms. And I think that is an extremely important burden that we, that we have right okay. now. You talked a lot about the platform this morning, right? And you talked about this business of being able to bring your own language, something that you and I have discussed. Yes. What's that going to mean in real terms for SAP developers going forward? What can they do now? And what are they going to be able to do in, say, I don't know, Q1, Q2 of next year, would you yeah. say? So today we announced the general availability of NetWeaver Cloud. Right. Um, SAP we didn't dot- lose the NetWeaver thing then in the end. <laughs> the, um, not yet. Okay. Working on it. <laughs> yeah, here, I'm looking at Ayaz, who's sitting right here. He's like, oh, my God, what is he going to say next? Uh, not yet is okay. the answer. All right. <laughs> um, no, NetWeaver Cloud, uh, we generally made it generally available today. Already several hundred projects have gone up on this, even though it, is, it was pre-GA until today. Um, and um, uh, customers, partners, uh, Keytree showed an incredible application that they have built on NetWeaver Cloud uh, to the press conference earlier today. Um, I think so that's one that we've seen or talked about, uh, I think. Earlier, yeah, 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 I think yeah. you have had a video, that's right, why, yeah. Um, and um, so NetWeaver Cloud already runs on HANA. Uh, and this is uh, one of the things that developers can start using today and build productive applications uh, today. Um, we also announced the, uh, the overarching frame, which is the HANA cloud platform. That means HANA as a database service to start with that you can bring your own language to and build any application right. that you want on top of that. And we announced the general availability of HANA on Amazon for the small instances already today. Right. Uh, so you can start deploy a HANA system on Amazon for 99 cents an hour and then connect any application, bring your own language, like you said, Dennis, mm. um, into the environment and build your application, use HANA as a database platform, but also to run stored procedures and complex calculations inside HANA uh, and build a simple application on top of that. 
And next month in Madrid, I will launch the um, capabilities of application serving inside HANA. Uh, that means that for a class of applications, you don't need an additional application server stack. And you can build the app directly into HANA and deploy it there. Uh, and that is something that, and connect it to a mobile device or whatever. And that is something that developers find uh, quite uh, exciting because you don't have the two different environments. They don't have extra stuff that they need to think about. Extra stuff they need to worry so about. So this is part exactly. of the simplification process. Yeah, exactly. Process. Right, exactly. Okay. Now, you said that you'll, have, um, you'll be talking about apps being developed inside HANA by the time we get to Madrid, which is what, I don't know, four or six weeks away. Yeah, four, four weeks, yeah. What about the essential community element here? I mean, you, that's something I, I know you're working on, but what can we say right now? We have had the, uh, <coughs> the uh, uh, SAP, the SCN, the uh, SAP developer, the community network. This is now at 3 million uh, or so people. Um, the, uh, the HANA community, HANA would not be where it is without the HANA community, the uh, experience saphana.com, right. which is now just saphana.com. Some squatter had that name. We, we took it from, from them. Um, so we have those communities. Today we did announce the uh, experience and the design community for our, you know, SAP products have been um, extremely well known for their great simplicity and ease of use and great user experience. <laughs> yeah. So we, we announced that today. Uh, so we are taking this community um, notion very seriously, but we have a lot more to do as, as you and I talked about. Sure. Um, in particular for these developer experiences, uh, we want to be able to provide developers the abilities to share their experiences, but also share their code in modern communities. And well, that's uh, what they like doing. Yeah, uh, exactly. And and we want to. Um, you will see more about this in Madrid, um, working with our own communities, but also working with other existing developer communities. That, that well, that are. sounds interesting. Okay. Yeah.